Would you pay $20,000 for C-Monty to set you up? This is public opinion. Let's go ask the streets. What's up? This is Uncush, and we're here at um, the India Gate in New York City. So I, I didn't know what the India Gate was because I'm only in Punjab where I'm surrounded by farmland. And um, this isn't a gate, by the way. Just want to say this is just columns. There's nothing stopping me from entering. It's a constant hot take. This is not a gate. This is just a column. Did you guys know that Sea Monty charges $20,000 for her services? Only $20,000? Sea Monty, man, come on. <laughs> Only $20,000? $20,000? No USD? Way. I believe so, yes, USD. I didn't... Yes, she only charges that money to get your name into her books, but you won't even put your name out in the portfolio. Have you done some research? How do you know this? Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, that's where all the facts are, okay. Yeah, I did not expect that. I kind of think she's incompetent. I can see Simanti charging 45 now, and she's terrible what she does. It's the worst. She's bomb barrel. Her track record ain't so good. $20,000 if it's successful or not? Yeah, just for a shot. That's that's a little overpriced in my opinion. Yeah, to find that person, you could do it for free. Yo, my mom and my nani do this for free, yeah. so, you know, I'm offering alternative services for people who are interested. So, I'm guessing you wouldn't pay $20,000. I don't even pay for, like, that extra boost in dating apps. How much is Tinder Plus? Because I, I don't think it's going to get any better than that, honestly. Like... Well, if you think about it, if you're on Tinder Plus for 30 years, that's probably $20,000. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I guess so. What's the lowest price you would pay for C. Monty's help? I would pay a hundred bucks just to have a conversation with her because like, I don't want the matchmaking services, but I want to meet her. Um... 100? Uh, I think a hundred dollars. Like a hundred. Why, why is that, why is that, everyone's been saying a hundred dollars, is that like a auspicious number or something? It's enough for it to be like valuable, but then like, not too much. I'm getting tired of a hundred dollars. Zero. <laughs> no, no zero. I services for free. <laughs> zero. Let's negotiate. What if it's two hundred dollars and you get a free meal at the Dosa Hut? I don't like Dosa. See, Mon, PT, the market is not that hot, but don't worry, we'll find someone willing to pay you twenty thousand dollars. I'd pay her for the um, exposure, for sure. She has good exposure. What has she ever done that's actually correct? Because I think she thinks about love very Indian, and I can't fuck with that. See. When you think very Indian love, and people go, oh, Indian people know love. No, they know commitment to each other because that's what the culture says. What's so difficult about dating nowadays? Oh my God, you sound like a hinge prom. There's so many options that no one takes a chance to really get to know somebody. If you find an issue with someone, it's easy to move on very quickly. Like, you get bored very fast because there are so many options. The hardest thing to find in a person that you're dating is probably finding that person. There's so many people out there now that it's, it's hard to find that right match, and it's just a lot of, a lot of looking. So the hardest part about finding someone is finding someone. <laughs> I want to know, what's the biggest piece of relationship advice that you have? You got to communicate. Yeah, definitely communicate, communicating, communicate. compromising. 60 to 70% is a good match if they're ready to compromise. Just have fun, don't be in the moment. Be honest, open yourself up. Don't kill each other. Very sound advice. You can't be in a relationship if one of you is dead. That's true. That's a good one. Knowing each other's love languages. That's a good one. Sounds like this is a very recent argument, is not it? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't call us out like that. Yeah, no, we can't, we can't. Okay, sorry, sorry. We'll cut that. Cut that in. I feel like people do get complacent, like after they've been together for a while, like keep flirting with each other, keep taking each other like out on dates and stuff. It's literally just a thought. And I know that sounds so cliche. It's like, oh, it's a thought that counts, but it truly is. Like, you can literally just go to Trader Joe's. A bouquet is like $8.99. It won't break your bank. Literally just get a bouquet of flowers. If you see something pretty and you're like, oh, I thought of you, like, that's cuter than the actual, like, flowers themselves. And when she says she doesn't want them, she wants them. Just get them. Really think about whether you're happy or not and walk away once you realize that you're not happy. Be honest with each other uh, and work through your issues. And if it's getting too much, then yeah, walk away. <laughs> I want to know, what's the biggest piece of relationship advice? Walk away. Yeah, walk away. <laughs> what are the biggest red flags in another person? Expecting me to text all the time. You know, phone calls are better. Someone that can't take sarcasm or like you can't have good banter with. If we can't have good chat, it's not going to work. People who can't like keep track of time or like don't know how to like coordinate a time and place or like being late. Girl who doesn't stop talking about her exes. That, that, ow! 
Oh my god, that's I felt your pain. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I don't like when someone like talks shit about their parents. They're like super oversensitive. I, I would say like bad communication skills. Okay. Um and just like guys who gaslight. Because that's a that's a very big thing. As as long as they don't get mad too quickly, that's all. Because I, I do a lot of dumb things. It's a big ass gate. I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired. Some people are funny and some people are not. There's a lot of red flags. No, see, Monty's charging very high prices. Honestly, like what twenty thousand is a lot. Only twenty thousand. See, Monty, man, <laughs> come on. This is public opinion, man. We want to hear what you have to say. Come through. Let us know. We got more topics. We got more things to talk about. This is Pop Shift, baby. Come on. Want more takes? Subscribe to the Pop Shift newsletter. <laughs>